Howdy, Possum Patty here, and I'm right where you left me, so come on along. This is my garden journal, and these are the scraps that were left over from yesterday's gardening page. I used this sort of periwinkle color, these flowers, these bunnies, these little dots. And this is a new paper pack I got at Michael's and I was having a lot of fun with it. The scraps are still on the desk. And so I thought, well, why not? Just go ahead and do the next page. And as promised from yesterday, I found some information about Mr. Hummingbird and I want a journal just that we put out two hanging baskets for the hummingbird. I do put out a feeder for him too with the sugar water for the hummingbird. Okay, now this scrap fit on this page. This scrap was a little short. But these scraps were just wide enough to put on here. So I can make a little pocket there and then I thought I could add a strip at the top because that's not tall enough, but I could put that there. And these are just about the same size. I could ink around it and put it up there. So I was just thinking how I was going to do this. And I might cut out this or maybe just rip it out and put that in the middle. And then I can put the title up here. And I can put maybe some of this information on a journaling card. But I have to put my picture too, which is here. I could just put out the bird and put the picture. Mm. Okay, so I think before I do anything, I'm going to go over to the sewing machine and just stitch around on this pocket the way I did on this one and on this one over here because that thread is still in the machine. So I'm gonna go stitch this and then decide what I wanna do. And on this page, I was gonna put the picture of the lilac bush somehow and journal about what a floral calendar is. But I have to print out another picture because the lilacs were in bud in this picture and now they're blooming. So I'm gonna put two pictures of the lilacs here do a little bit of journaling. I'm going to go sew the pocket and figure out where I'm going to put Mr. Hummingbird on this side. And then I'll have two more garden pages done. Well, in the blink of an eye, we've gone from 40 degrees, 39 degrees at night to summertime and it's humid. And Mr. Possum put on the air conditioner it was humid last night, but we just put it on today. And it's amazing how fast the weather changes. So I'm going to glue this down. Let's do the possum patty method of, <clears throat> excuse me, glue stick in the middle. Pollen count is pretty high. You get congested like everybody else. So I put glue stick in the middle and a little tacky glue along the edge to keep it from popping up.
Okay, I'm going to line this up with the bottom. Try and line this up with the bottom. And put the other piece on the top. My new spreader toy is not far away. Although, you know what? I got Mod Podge on it. I'm going to have to clean it off. I was working yesterday. I shouldn't have inked at the top. Because that was unnecessary because I'm going to put this there. I know that's kind of weird, but what are you going to do? to be good about using scraps. I'd love to get into that new paper pack and cut up some more of that paper. But while these scraps are on the desk, I said, let me just go with them. Boy, in May the roof flowers really start popping. Did some weeding today. Not much. A little bit. Kind of hot and humid. I'm not going to do much out there. All right, now am I lined up? Oh, got a lot of glue on this side. So this is going to be the title up here, and this will be the pocket for the information. And while I'm gluing, I think I'll just go ahead and glue this one down. Oh, this is a little short. Uh -oh. I didn't notice that till just now. Oh well, we'll just leave it a little short. You can put a little more ink along the edge, and it's all good. This is just journaling. All I'm doing is just journaling. I should find the video of the hummingbird from last year so you can see who I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure the same ones come back. They certainly knew where to look for the flowers on the porch, which I hadn't had out hadn't put out yet. But uh, they're out there now. need to check the sugar water feeder. Fill it back up if it's empty. So we could talk about floral calendars. So a floral calendar, which is different for everybody depending on where you live, what region of the country, or what part of the world you live in. But all you do is associate the timing of when something blooms with a special event. So the lilacs 
our the floral calendar for Mother's Day. So when the lilacs first bloom in this area, it's Mother's Day, or, you know, very close to it, very close to Mother's Day. And the um, peonies are Memorial Day. Well, if you backtrack, of course, you got the daffodils and the tulips for Easter. So, well, you know, Easter's so variable. Sometimes it's late later in the season and you get all the tulips and daffodils sometimes it's quite early and you just might have the crocus and the early daffodils but not the later ones that's when it's in March and so you can go all the way back in time to say the uh, Native Americans and the Plains Indians uh, or Eastern Indians, I'm not sure which one it was, but um, I read somewhere that they would plant their corn and beans and squash and stuff and then um, go off hunting and they would know to return to harvest the corn when the goldenrod was blooming. So that happens around here. The um, early goldenrods start blooming like in August and the uh, sweet corn here is ready for picking in August. I love local sweet corn. These edges are getting very dark but I'm hiding the fact that I didn't cut this quite right. But that's okay. It looks fine. What I can do is put some more ink over here. So say, you know, what's blooming on your birthday? What flowers are in bloom? If you're in February like me, it's just the snowdrops, the very earliest flowers. You know, maybe you are in... Um, September, October. Of course, if you're in April, May, June, <laughs> that's pretty easy because you've got a lot of flowers to pick from. Even in January, I think at the witch, you can find witch hazel trees that bloom, right? Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here. Gotta watch my camera. I always say that, then I forget. Um, 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 what am I gonna do? I am going to cut the title. Well, I hope you're journaling along, even if. I gotta be careful here because I don't want to cut the hummingbird. Hmm. Maybe I won't rip. Maybe I will cut. Just leave a little white edge. Hummingbirds' wings beat up to 80 times per second. 80 times per second. That's why you get that humming noise when they go by. I want to keep some of this information. cut and then go back in 
Try to leave a nice white border there. So I thought I'd put him there and then put the hanging basket there to show that's what he's after. They like a lot of different flowers. They like flowers that have sort of a tube in them. That's what their long beak or tongue, long tongue. They can reach down inside those tubular flowers. That's why I planted the um, scarlet honeysuckle, I think it's called, on the pole. They really love those bright red tubular shaped flowers. They're pretty bold birds for their size. I saw one chasing a robin one day. It was so funny because robins are so much bigger than the three inch hummingbird. I will be right back. Okay, this is some more paper left over from yesterday. I'm thinking about making a little frame. Sometimes it does that. I don't know why. But it doesn't make a clean, clean cut because something gets jammed in there. A little better. Okay, I'm just going to cut a little frame out of this. I haven't cleaned off the mess on the desk yet. Here's a pencil. I remember one day I was talking about, you know, I might want to take a journal and just journal in it for a few days. And then pick out another journal and journal in that for a few days. That was quite a while ago. And I don't think I actually did it when I said it. But I did do it this week. Okay, I think I am going to... That's my bird clock. I think I will ink around that and then glue the hummingbird there and put the title up there I gonna probably have to trim that up a little bit maybe I will use this up there also I love this paper I mean you can make this very easily you want to sit there all day with some markers and Make dots, right? Okay, so do I want to round the corners? My brain is telling me leave them square. And the other side of my brain is telling me to go ahead and clip them. Okay. Then I have to make something to go in the pocket still. Oh, it's going to be be a long one. I have to break this video up into two. Just journaling. Do you ever sit down and just journal? Just journal. Okay, now that can go. 
I'll be right about there. I want to put the picture on first. Of course, I cut off the edges where it's easier to take off the backing. Come on. Oop, stand up, don't fall down. Still came out a little funky. That's okay. We're not going to worry about that. Put some glue. Put some tacky glue. You know, we don't want anything popping up. Get this down. Okay, he's going to go right there. Where's my paper? information. I guess there is only one kind of hummingbird in this neck of the woods. When I lived out in California I did see the Anna's hummingbird. But here in New England in the Northeast we only have the ruby-throated hummingbird which is a beautiful hummingbird gorgeous colors. That is too much glue on there. Too much, too much. I probably should take some off. I don't know where all my little scraper cards are. Over gluing. I didn't put on his beak. Okay, that's good. It's gonna have glue everywhere. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it because my fingers are dirty. Okay, gardening for the hummingbirds. And I have some more pots. I want to get a, a fuchsia. They like fuchsia. I already planted them a vine. Oh, I planted the cypress vines, which I grew from seeds, and I put them outside, and they don't look that good. I hope they survive. I hope they survive, because it has... tube-shaped red flowers that the hummingbirds really like. And I think I got them sunburned. I didn't harden them off correctly. Okay, do I want to put it back on that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, using up scrap papers. Using up scrap papers. Could do something like that. I might kind of cut around that a little bit. First I'm going to cut it. First I'm going to cut it. I 
Have you ever seen a hummingbird nest? Most people have never seen one because they're so small and so hard to find. They're like little tiny thimbles. Look at that. Look at that little baby hummingbird there. And that's like the size of a, it says a tiny soft cup of plant material bound with cobwebs and decorated with lichen and insect cocoons. The female who rears the family alone will swoop even at large intruders. So that must have been what I saw that day when I saw a hummingbird chasing a robin. It must have gotten too close to its nest and it didn't like that. And it didn't like it at all, and it chased that robin away. But they're so cute, they're all decorated with little lichens. Oh. This is pretty thin paper. Put way too much glue on that hummingbird. Now Design decisions. Do I want to round the corners? Do I round these corners? Leave this corner square? Do I want to put ink? Do I want to do something like this? Because why not? Don't be afraid to try new things. Try something different. I mean, you know, it's just paper. It's just a journal. Have fun. Try new things. Some of my experiments turn out and some of them don't. Oh, I gotta check my camera. Oop, battery's dying. Well, you know, dinner and dishes and all that just happened. So while you were gone, and I don't know where you got off to, I'm working on, well, I thought I was going to make a journaling card for the pocket. But instead, I decided to make a sort of like a little booklet. And again, using these scraps that are on the desk, I made like a little folder going to have a closure, probably do ink around the edge, maybe put a little piece of Velcro there or something. And I was looking for a thin paper to line it with. I didn't do a very good job there, did I? That's okay. And, you know, I bought like 15 paper packs at the flea market. And there was no colors that matched this at all. See, when I hold this up, it looks too peachy and not pink enough. There were no blues like that, no tans like that. So I went out and got a different paper pack from a different drawer. And these papers are very thin. I think I bought this on clearance at some point. Or for mixed media maybe. I don't remember. Um, not important. And I took two thin pieces and glued them back to back. And this pink is a much better match for the pink flowers there. And I'm going to sew it in. But I imagine if you don't sew, you can, I don't know, glue, staple, whatever it is you do. Whatever it is you do best. And that's going to be the first page there like that. So I'm taking the information from the page and just gluing it down like a little book. 
So I'm going to put that over there. And I'll put some... Oh, wait. That's a different one. It's this one. It doesn't look like... Ruby throated hummingbird female, but could be the way the light is on her. This looks more like one. Female resembles other West Coast humming females, but is larger. That's a West Coast bird. So that goes there. Then I'm going to put that there. I put a little sticker, Dollar Tree sticker. Put a little green bird there. I'm not sure that's a hummingbird, but that doesn't matter. Okay, and then on the back, all right, let me get these glued down. There's my paper. All right, this one's next. Yeah, I thought I was going to get this page all done without interruptions. Uh-oh. A little bit of sticky glue there. I'll get that off. But, you know, life happens. What are you going to do? I just have no idea how people get on live and stay for hours. Or maybe they take breaks. You know, you could tell me below. Well, maybe because I go off and do other things and then come back. Ooh, that's not good. Ah, I'm making a mess now. And maybe my videos wind up being too long. Hmm, there's a thought. I could just end the video and come back and start a new one. I think it's going to be in a little bit more. i got to get that big glob of glue off. Right there. Sure, I don't close that up till it's all dry. It's gonna be sticking. I got glue on both sides. It takes skill to do that. Okay, so I don't know if I had. I thought there was one more, so I got this one. This one, this one. I got this little map. And I got this information, but it doesn't fit on here. Mm -hmm. I have to cut it apart. I had to do that over here. Because these words are sticking way out. So I just kind of chopped them up and put them down there. And these fit fine. And... What can I put here? Slice and dice this. Let's see how that works. Because I think this is the only other information. And yes, I made a mess again. And there might be something in this great big pile here. The pile's getting higher and higher. quite the incentive to just keep going. Like if I put everything away then it's like, oh, mama me, I gotta take everything out. That's another page I gotta do. I was working outside. Okay, so let's trim this. And, hmm, 16 days. Oh, 
white is this? Nesting information. Okay, that's not going to fit there. So we got to cut it there. are very close together. Will she do it? Oh, well, I did it. Okay, now the camera on. Checking, yeah, because I just changed the battery. And make sure this one was working. Okay, this is nesting information. If you are interested in the nesting of a hummingbird, nesting information, they nest March through July. I don't think they're back here in March. They may come a little bit later. Because they need flowers and insects. And March is still snowy weather here. Oh, come on, I can't cut that off. That fits. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> like the nesting information on both sides. Oh my gosh. March through July. Which one was the two or three broods? Two white eggs. Yeah, this is the the right one. 16 days incubation by the female. 20 to 22 days fledgling. All right, so somehow I have to get these on there. Do I want to put a frame around this? I know this map looks like it needs something. Why am I being so fussy? I have no idea. We got pink, pink scraps. See, I cut this right on the black line and I could see the black line and that's bothering me. Slicer dicer. I don't lose the words while I'm playing around with this. See, that's what's going to happen, right? I go playing around with the map, and I'm going to lose my words. Yeah, it's easier to measure than to try to measure in that thing. But to measure, I need my pencil to mark. back of the pencil pencil jar okay so that's gonna mark that about there okie dokie yeah that's gonna look so much better that's gonna fill the page So this is the Eastern Hummingbird. The Eastern Hummingbird. This is the one that we have. Wish we had more. I love the little hummingbirds. That paper's all yucky. 
I wind up using one scrap piece of, oh, 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 what I just did. Pay attention. Scrap piece of newspaper for quite a while. Again, I gotta stand up. These glasses have a weird curvature in them. Okay, oh, I like that, I like that. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and glue these words down and then sew this into there and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, to make this even more complicated, I was looking for an image to put there, and I haven't used this yet. This was gifted to me, Extraordinary Things to Cut Out and Collage, and I have not cut out anything from it. Oh, I see a lot of good steampunk stuff in there. Um, and there's a ruby-throated hummingbird right there. So how do you do this? Tear the whole thing out. Let's see, it looks like it's got perforation there. Okay, you don't want, need to watch me do this, but I'd like to find a flower. I mean, all the stickers I have, I've got to have, oops, flower somewhere, right? Flower sticker, I have sunflowers. Maybe you're supposed to cut on that line, tear on that line. I'm not really sure. Maybe you got to cut on that line. Okay, this is painful to watch. I'll come back. Well, what if I put some washi tape? Something I haven't used in a while. I bought washi tape. I don't use it. I was gifted that cut out book. I've never used it. So today is about using stuff. Using stuff. Do I need to put a little extra glue on this? Oh, Mamma Mia. Probably. I don't remember where this one was from. I'll put a little glue stick on there. Maybe. If I could get it done here. Stinky Winky Woos the kitty came in. She was knocking at the door. The other one is sleeping. She's been sleeping all day. glue my little hummingbird down. Well, at least I christened that, that idea, that book. That little bird's flying that way. That, oops. That is not a hummingbird there. I can tell by the beak. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should put the, um, there's a title here somewhere. I thought it was over here. Here it is. I could put this there. If I don't ruin it. Hey, 
if I don't ruin it. The videos are getting to be too long. I like long videos when I'm crafting along so I don't have to keep changing, stopping and commenting and finding a new video. So I can just keep keep working and have somebody keeping me company. But other times I like shorter videos, maybe if I'm just having a cup of tea or something, I don't have time to watch a really long one. So it all depends, all depends. Don't put the words upside down. So I hope you are journaling along with me. Okay, now I've got glue all over my fingers. I can't. Should I put it down here? Should I put it over here? Should I put it over here? Put it right there? Okay, good enough. And my little book about the hummingbirds. Isn't that cute? I love it how it came out. Oh, we got to get the Velcro. Mamma mia. There's always like one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. One more thing to do. come across a sticker or something that I like, I'm going to put it here on the back. I want to put a picture of a flower. And I know I have pictures of flowers, so I just have to find one. But now i got to go get the Velcro. Oh, so I didn't show you. I sewed, just sewed down the middle, glued that in front cover. I need something more there. Okay, I have these stickers I bought the other day at the Dollar Tree sitting here on the desk and I'm like, do I want to introduce green? Duh, the hummingbird is green. So I just put one of the ferns and they're, they're like three-dimensional sort of plasticky, interesting, interesting stickers. Very interesting. Okay, so my little book is complete. And all I need is the Velcro. So I have some Velcro dots. And I cut one in half. Well, I cut two in half, actually. And I'm going to put it there. A little bit of extra glue, maybe. Why do I have to put extra glue on everything? Feel how sticky that is. I don't think it needs extra glue. Okay, I'm just going to put a little dot there. All right, one last look at my little information about the hummingbird. And now I'm going to close it and let that dry. Uh-oh. I didn't trim that washi tape right there. Can I pull it apart? Oops. Never done. Just never, never done. All right, so get that out of my way. There. There we go. Journal. Well, this took all day on and off. And I hope it fits in the pocket. I didn't I didn't think about that. Oh, it fits fine. 
it fits fine. Okay, the Ruby Throated Hummingbird has its own page. And all of this came about because I had this picture of the hanging basket that I put on the porch for Mr. Hummingbird. Actually, Mrs. Hummingbird was there today. I was sitting out on the porch a little while with Mr. Possum and Mrs. Hummingbird came by. You can tell them apart because she doesn't have, it's not such a bright color, doesn't have the ruby throat. Okay, well, thank you for coming along today while I did my garden journaling. And I hope you enjoyed whatever it was you were doing while I was doing this. And I want to wish everybody happy junk journaling or garden journaling or nature journaling. Bye-bye.